Today, my topic is on communication and models of communication process. Introduction Man is a social animal and as a member of a society, he has to establish relationships with other individuals, groups and institutions either permanently or temporarily. Communication helps us to establish relationships and belongingness to a society and consequently benefit by such relationship. The very term communication stems from the Latin word communis, meaning common. This connotes that when people communicate, people exchange meanings and establish a community with the receiver through a message. To exchange meanings, human beings use a variety of devices, words, language, pictures, drawings, body language, etc. So communication can best serve in the development and the modernization of India if it is treated as a science and art and indeed as a subject matter discipline related to other social sciences. With the development of science and technology, the forms and ways of communication have become more specialized. In the complex modern society of today, the process of communication is more complex and indirect because of the use of modern gadgets. It is much more than editing, the printing, publications, writing news, stories, broadcasting, radio talks, preparing exhibits and motion pictures or publicizing demonstrations. Communication involves the complete transfer of an idea or thought from one's mind to that of another. It is not therefore enough if you tell the people about a new idea. They must hear it, understand it, and remember it. In other words, communication is telling someone something in such a manner that he gets it. Definition of Communication Many sociologists, educationists, and psychologists have defined communication in various ways and according to the disciplines to which they belong. A few selected definitions of these definers are given below. Loomis and Beagle, during 1950, defined communication as the process by which information, decisions, and direction pass through in a social system and the way in which knowledge, opinions, and attitudes are formed or modified. Secondly, Ligans during 1961 said communication is a process by which two or more people exchange ideas, facts, feelings, or impressions in ways that it's gained a common understanding of the message. According to Scram, 1964, he defines communication occurs when two corresponding systems coupled together through one or more non-corresponding systems assume identical status as a result of single transfer along chain we are trying to establish commonness. In other words of tear, during 1968, communication is the mutual interchange of ideas by any effective means. According to Roses and Sue Maker, 1971, communication is the process by which messages are transferred from a source to a receiver. Van de Van and Hawkins, during 1988, defined communication as the process of sending and receiving messages through channels which establish common meaning between source and receiver. So comprehensions of the above definitions have revealed that communication is a process of social interaction that is in a communication situation two or more individuals interact. They try to tangibly influence the ideas, attitudes, knowledge and the behavior of each other. Therefore, communication is an exchange of information, knowledge, ideas or feelings 
taking place between two individuals. In a face-to-face -face situation, communication is not a mere exchange of information, but something more, because in such a situation, along with information one passes, the gestures, expression, language, the manner of expression and tone, all this combined together create a sort of impact on what? Some kind of exchange occurs as a result of interactions. These chains may be visible in terms of knowledge and behavior. Normally, communication is primarily interested to change the behavior of persons involving change in attitude, change in knowledge, and or change in skills. Communication in agricultural exchange in education services, especially for rural development, also known as diffusion of innovations, is a special type of communication where communication is in respect of new idea and is aimed at persuading farmers for taking action. In short, communication for agricultural and rural development is a part of process of educating farmer and farm women for changing their actions. Communications for educating farmers and farm women for changing attitude, knowledge and skills needs building confidence in the new ideas or practice and methods to overcome the risks associated with them. Therefore, in the context of agricultural extension education, communication can define as the process by which extension workers individually or in a group or through a medium exchange attitude, share knowledge and skills on behalf of organization with farmers, farm women through such ways that it gains comprehension, understanding and use of messages. So now let us try to discuss some of the models of communication. A communication model explains what takes place when messages are transferred from one point to another. Communication models are important, firstly, to know the interrelated behavior needed for communication and secondly, to know that a model singles out its part of communication process so that it can be explained separately. Some important communication models which are related to agricultural extension education are discussed here. Firstly, let us try to discuss on Leswell's communication sequence. Harold Leswell, during 1948, designed one of the earliest models of mass communication by posing the serial questions, who says or does not say, says what, in which channels, to whom, with what effect. This model is still widely cited and limited. Laswell's model implies that more than one channel can carry a message. The who raises the question of control of messages. Gatekeeper role says what is the subject of content analysis. To whom deals with receivers and audience and with what effect relates to credibility of the message as well as the status of the receiver. Secondly, Sennon and Weaver during 1949 commented that this model of communication has five key components. Number one, an information source which produces a desired message out of a set of possible messages, written or spoken, words, picture, etc. Number two, a transmitter which changes this message into signals suitable for transmission. Number three, a channel which carries signals from transmitter to the receiver. Number four, a receiver, a sort of inverse transmitter to the receiver. Number five, a destination, the final consumer 
of the masses. The graphical model is shown below. Source, transmitter, signal, receiver, and destination. Thirdly, Berlow's model of communication has six elements that are source, encoder, message, channel, decoder, and receiver. In his model of communication during 1960, elaborated that, quote, is a system of signals for communication. In quote means to put the message into quote or cipher. Senil is a medium through which the signals moved. The decoder means the one which converts the message in the code into ordinary language which may be easily understood. He further elaborated that all human communication has some source, some person or group of person with a purpose. The purpose of source has to be expressed in the form of masses. The communication encoder is responsible for taking the ideas of the source and putting them in the code, expressing the source purpose in the form of a message. A channel is a medium, a carrier of masses. For communication to occur, there must be somebody at the other end who can be called the communication receiver, the target of communications. In the fourth model of communication, we can discuss the Ligand's model of communication. According to G.P. Ligand, during 1961, successful communication in agricultural extension education or agro-advisory services requires a skilled communicator sending a useful message through a proper channel effectively treated to an appropriate audience that responds as desire. The key elements involved in his model are communicator, message or contain, channels of communication, treatment of message, the audience and the response of audience. According to him, extension agents should continue to communicate repeat, motivate, persuade until the desired response occurs on the part of the receivers. Number 5. Rosa and Schumacher's Model Source, Message, Channel, Receiver and Effects are the elements of communication model according to Rosa and Schumacher. Rosas and Schumacher thought of the communication process in terms of S, M, C, R, E model. According to them, a source, that is S, sends a message M via certain channels C to the receiving individuals R, which causes some effects E that is changing the existing behavior pattern of the receiver. Number six, the SMTCR communication model. Communication is a process by which messages are transferred from one source to the receiver. In agricultural extension education, it refers to the process of transferring an idea skill or attitude from one person to another accurately, timely and satisfactorily. A simple communication model consists of the following elements as shown dramatically and discussed below. Number one, sender, message, treatment, channel and receiver. Now, let us try to find out some of its characteristics of these elements. Number one, the sender. We may call him the communicators or speaker or source. It is the person who apparatus 
that puts the process into operation. The sender may be the extension worker or the teacher in a meeting or in front of the microphone or radio. He decides what message to send, how to treat it, and what channels. Radios, newspaper, lecture, film, source sites, photographs, specimens to use, and which receivers or audience to reach. If he makes a poor choice, his communication is likely to fail. Number two, the message. This is the information package, the technical know-how for improving farming, livestock, home, village sanitation, health, etc. of the people. It may be a single signal as one poster or complete information through a pamphlet about the package of practice, instructions, blueprint, etc. Treatment It refers to the ways in which the message is handled before it placed on the channel. Its purpose is to make the message clear, understandable, and realistic to the audience. The channel It is the avenue of communication that is in the telegram the wherever which the message is sent in the radio talk, it is a radio station, studio, and wherewith. In the article, the newspaper in which our message is to appear. The receiver. The receiver may be a single person which we write a letter. It may be a group of people who read the message or the masses who listen to the radio and see television. The more homogeneous the audience is, the greater are the senses of effective communication. Conclusion Agricultural communication by agricultural extension agents to the farmers for transfer of technology and agro-advisory services is a complex, continuous, two-way process in which the main element such as the sources, the messages, the channels, receivers, and the communication feedback are involved with certain degree of desire and undesired effects in both the receivers and the sources. All communication behavior has a purpose. The main function or the purpose of the communication is to change or guide other people's behavior. To achieve this purpose, various approaches can be used. It could be informative, commanding, or instructing, influential, or persuasive, and or entertaining. The purpose of communication is designed for a particular person. It could be for the communicator himself or a particular individual or a group of individuals. Similarly, it can be fulfilled either by immediate reward or delayed reward. It can be both customary and instrumental.